All right, give it a spin. Let's see what you get. Can you eat it? Oh, can you believe it? Let's go to Q Town. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Q4U. I'm James, your host. I'm so pumped that you came and joined us again because, man, we got some great stuff in store. So, without any further ado, let's head out to the challenge course where we're gonna spin the wheel of cataclysm and see what happens. Come on. Next contestants on the wheel of Cataclysm. Boys, your names? Jace. Finn. Will. Jace, Finn, and Will. Three Musketeers. All right, give it a spin. Let's see what you get. <laughs> can you eat it? Oh, can you believe it? Oh my goodness. All right, here's the deal. On can you eat it, these three guys are each going to get a bowl of cereal. Rice Krispies to be exact. They're going to be lifted up on the skyscraper. Once they're lifted up, we're going to, as they're being lifted up, we're going to let them know when they can start eating. They start pounding back the Rice Krispies as fast as they can. And at any moment, we're pulling that thing and they're dropping. If they're not done by the time they drop, well, you're gonna see what happens. All right, here's the deal. They came, they came to conquer, and they did not. Man, when they got to the top, there was still so much cereal left in their bowls, but once they hit the top, they had to pull, and it went every, watch the, watch the replay. It is wild. These guys are good, they're good sports, but it was amazing. How was it? Tell me about it. Cereal was tasty, the drop was not. No, the drop no. was not. Um, All up in my eyes. Did it get in your eyes? Like open eyeballs, oh, yeah. Yeah. cereal in your open eyeballs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. So, how much would you say you ate before you got to the top? How I much two, your bowl was left? I had left? two spoonfuls left. I was about three quarters in and I, I thought I could finish, but then he was pulled it and I was like, oh. How much did you have left? Probably about half. About half? Okay, so you had the fullest bowl. Um, Jace, when you were coming down, I saw like a little bit, like a little choking action going on. Little uh, something <laughs> caught in the throat. What what happened there? You know, I just pulled it, and the gravity seemed to pull the milk up and into my mouth. And then gravity also said that's not right, so it came back out. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Hey, thanks for being great sports about it. We got a little something for each each of you guys. So uh, dig into this bag. If it's candy, you can take two. Oh, this guy's not even looking. Oh, no, he's got the shades. Water Ooh, bottle, you guys are going all to them. Big dog. I like that. Ooh, nice. I love yeah. it. Dad's roofier. Awesome. Thanks for playing Wheel of Cataclysm. Oh man, that was so good. Can you believe it? Those guys in cereal going everywhere, in everywhere, out everywhere. I love it. They're great sports. That was awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Hey, you know what? We got a short little message from our friend Andrew at Parksville Youth in Parksville. So check this out. Hey Camp Quanos, my name is Andrew. I'm one of the pastors at Parksville Fellowship Baptist Church and I'm here with some of my junior high youth. We just finished an awesome event. We'd like to invite you out. If you're in the area, we meet on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Jump on our website for more information. Guys, what was the best part? Donuts. Ice cream. Autograph from strangers. And ice cream. Hope to see you soon. Hey everybody, my name is Alin. This summer, I was a step out counselor to talk to you guys about youth groups today. And they are just such a wonderful place where I was just able to experience the love and the joy of being in a community, of being surrounded by believers, 
uh, throughout the year. It was a place where youth leaders were able to pour into me, build mentorship relationships that I was able to carry on with for years to come. It was a place that I could find um, friendships that lasted for years. It was a wonderful time of just being in that place, um, continuing to grow in my faith, um, especially in those harder times. It was just kind of, it was that source of like, oh, okay, I'm back home. And that was a wonderful feeling for me. Um, I'm so excited for you guys to be in youth group as well and just be able to experience um, these things that I was able to experience as well. Awesome. Hey, thanks so much, Lynn. That's awesome to hear. I can't wait for you to find a youth group and get yourself involved there. Man, it is going to be so good. Thank you so much for watching Q for You. Once again, I'm James, your host. Until next time, because there is a next time. There's so much more good stuff coming, so make sure you subscribe. Turn notifications on so you never miss an episode. Right on. Until next time, peace.